for matchup between the Patriots and the Seahawks. We are now just about 36 hours away from kickoff of Super Bowl 49. Thousands of fans from all across the country arriving in Arizona now for the game. And with so many people in one place, each of them, of course, with a cell phone, it's creating a very different kind of demand. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now from Glendale, Arizona with more. Well, when you go to a major event like the Super Bowl, a once in a lifetime event, of course you have to take a picture, a selfie maybe, and it's when you post those selfies to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, it creates a major data demand. It's selfie central, and it's not even the game yet. Fan after fan stream to the site of Super Bowl 49 to take their photo. Oh yeah, mom and dad have to know we're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> they tell them we're coming, just went for it. Yeah, they'll see the pictures on Facebook, so. Good. Did you get a selfie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, we have memories, but they have memories of us going as well. Pictures worth a thousand words, right? Picture worth Absolutely. a thousand words. Absolutely. Is it fair to say you took a picture while you were here? Uh, yeah, several. I mean, we caught up with some Idaho Patriots fans, the Wades. Want to know how much they love the team? They named their son Boston. It's either Brady or Boston, and so, you know. We picked Boston. In the AFC Championship game, AT&T says fans used 444 gigs of data. The NFC game, even more. That's equal to more than a million Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram posts with selfies. Got to be ready. Yeah, we're ready for it. And to get ready for the flood of social media, the phone company brought in these cells on wheels. They boost the signal. Cell phone network's kind of like a highway, so when you got a lot of people on it, it's going to get backed up. It's going to get congested. So. These kind of are like adding new lanes to make sure everyone can use it. And it's also so fans like the Wades can send their memory to the world. Well, it's important for the kids to remember it too. Remember that they were here and they got to experience it and be here where the Super Bowl was and, you know, just remember that. So. Now, AT&T says that every single year the amount of data demand goes up. At the Super Bowl last year in New York, they had more than 600 gigabytes used. Expect that to be even more this year. The Mobile Newsroom in Glendale, Arizona. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.